This is Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf. Today is the 3rd of September 2016. 30 years ago, Bosna came into existence. Indeed, here we have some events of 1986, uh, which I uh, would perhaps best recall for the World Cup. Uh, of course, I remember many other details from my life, but they have uh, the hand of God with, uh, with Maradona. Well, this doesn't get mentioned here, but we start off with uh, Bursner uh, building its first vehicles. Reinhold Messner, um, was a, who was a mountaineer, although I don't know much about him. The Phantom of the Opera came out on the 9th of October 1986 in London. As I recall, it was Michael Crawford, who was, had been best known up until then for playing in some mothers do have it, have them, as Frank Spencer, a great actor. Boris Becker won Wimbledon for the second time, Voyager 2 past Uranus, and 30 years ago with that type of technology. And Alan Prost won the Formula One. To celebrate 30 years of being in business, Burson has brought out a number of 30th edition vehicles such as this travel van, you can see that in another film, such as this vehicle, and this one here is Vizio, which I'm now going to have a look at, a fully integrated model, and I've got the price up there, which is 66,000 euros. Let's have a quick look at the technical details, although I'm gonna to have to shout over this video, which has been left on for nobody. Just under seven meters long, 220 uh, centimeters wide, 285 high. The payload, they have this uh, three and a half ton of gross vehicle weight, and this itself uh, was 3,129 kilos, so it gives you a payload of 371 kilos in its current state. Now, by the time you add some fuel, the fresh water and yourselves, as well as some of your stuff, it doesn't leave a huge amount. But it's you're probably within the uh, amount which is allowed. We have here a large garage with plenty of room for three or four bikes. Let's have a walk around the outside. Garage door, the same size on this side. That's a very useful feature. Toilet, cassette, fuel, and this door on the driver's side. Some people may not want a door on the driver's side, and some people it's an, an option. I tend to walk in through this side. Anyway, there's no door on the passenger side, and to be quite honest, I can't really see the point of it. I think one door is sufficient. There may be reasons though you want a second door. Now, coming in here, coming inside, we've got this bed above the driving position, which means if there's only two of you, you'd have to ask the question, do you want to hit your head on the bed every time you come in? So where this position where I am now, I've got my head hit the is hitting the bed, so it's 175 tall. So high I should say. So question, do you want the bed? The driving position though is great. Obviously it's an integrated model to get this wonderful panoramic view. And if you're actually driving, not only do you get a cup holder down there which I don't know if it's coming out or not. You've got two flower pots there, which you could use for keeping stuff in. Now, the uh, passenger's only got one cup holder, so that person can't drink so much. But on the subject of uh, holders, I don't know if this is gonna come up very well, you've got three things in there, which look as though they could hold bottles. Now, that's a good idea, isn't it? Let's have a look inside, back, There'll be models with uh, beds in various positions. This position has become quite popular over the last uh, three or four years. People are longer, particularly or taller, I should say, particularly here in Germany. So, it, you know, if you've only got 220 across the vehicle, uh, including the walls, you know, if you're over about 190, you'll probably want to have your a bed in this shape. The kitchen doesn't have a lot of room for doing anything in. You've got three burners. I think I've rather had two burners and a bit of extra space to actually work in. Though the uh, sink here is actually relatively 
a deep okay it's a standard domestic uh, setup so you're gonna have to do your chopping on this enormous table here and the ta table is a really good person that puts in some really good tables in its vehicles uh, wide fridge storage above the fridge and uh, this space here which you could use for keeping your uh, flowers if you don't want them in the flower pot at the front storage space under the beds as you'd expect this so there's hanging space under there and steps up to the bed which come up to reveal a rather large box which is uh, quite useful I think there's a bit of a gap here for your curtain if you want the curtain lots of people don't have the curtain installed fortunately the door opens the wrong way the door should open in this direction so you just come out of bed after drinking the beer you've had stored down there you come down here it's night and you gotta get past well, I can do it because I'm still sober but uh, after uh, a night on the town I think the door should either be a I think the best solution is a sliding door it doesn't look so good I know but I mean it's uh, more practical or alternatively it's got to be hinged on this part it's, because when you, you may use the toilet more during the day but you're in a better condition than when you just wake up during the night the uh, shower itself has got plugs at both ends that's very good you never stand on a, sat, uh, on a flat surface but there needs to be a duck board and you're going to find, find it very difficult to get it in a duck board for something that shape that size um, the toilet itself is okay it's standard but imagine after uh, being in the shower, you come out, or somebody else has been in the shower earlier, and you've got wet feet all over the ground. This bit here comes out. So there's a wall. We'll pull this out. There's the shower. But if you want to take the shower, you must pull the wall out. Because this tap is fixed. It does not come out. Here we've got a rather shallow but useful uh, drawer for um, sorry cupboard for keeping your stuff in. Of all the 30th edition vehicles, I think I prefer this one. Uh, I like I do I do like the shape. I do like an integrated model if, if possible. Obviously, if it's an integrated model, you end up paying more money for it. I don't like that bed though very much. I mean, I think I'd, I'd get rid of that and have more room in fact i'd rather have some type of roof light at the top and no bed that for me is a better idea because we know you, you don't often have guests coming with you in your motorhome <laughs>